troubleshooting the most common problems for why an Alliance MD2 will not start. The first thing you're going to want to look at is the door lock mechanism. You want to make sure the latch is actually engaging the lower switch. Then you're going to want to check continuity across both switches here. The lower switch lets the machine know that the door is successfully shut. The upper switch lets the machine know when the lock is successfully engaged. If you've checked the mechanism and both switches and you have good continuity and the machine still will not engage, the next thing you're going to want to check is the door lock control board itself. The most common problem with these is RT2 down in here burns out. With the machine off and powered off, you just want to gently poke it with your finger. You should be able to get a little bit of flex in the wire without the center of it dropping out. If the center of it drops out, it's cooked, it's no good, you need to replace the board. Over here I have all of the common part numbers for the Alliance MD2. The lower door switch, the upper door switch, and the door lock control board. You're going to need to check the board itself to see if you need the 120 volt model or the 220 volt. All of the boards have a sticker or printed somewhere on the board. You'll see the F37430-1 or-3.